Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Friday. So it's weigh in day, we're gonna talk about my week, the Weight Watchers workshop topic, and I'm going to share with you my weigh in. This is my first full week of my eight week mini cut. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a weigh in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will link nutrition coaching, highly recommend those personal personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free. It's supportive. We would love to have you. So let's dive into my week, my weigh in and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. We are warming up here. It's been in the 90s all week and I'm here for it. It's been in the 60s, 5 a.m. for boot camp. It's definitely rolling into summer quickly here in Arizona. We got our air conditioning on. We are ready for the warm months. Let me know down in the comments, how's your weather been? Are you starting to warm up? Or are you still in spring weather? Definitely let me know. So as of today, I have finished out the first full week of my cut. Now I actually started my cut last Wednesday, but this is my first full week. And what I mean by cut is I have put myself into a slight calorie deficit for the next eight weeks. My goal over the next eight weeks is to lean down, whatever that looks like. Whether whether that means I lose actual fat on the scale or I just reshape and reform my body, whether I gain muscle and gain weight on the scale, whatever that looks like, I'm in this mini cut for eight weeks. Once the eight weeks are over, I will go right back to maintenance. We should not be in a caloric deficit long term. It should be anywhere from about eight to 12 weeks. I am doing this mini cut specifically for my 30 year high school reunion, which is coming up at the end of July. I thought, let me look the best that I can go into that 30 year reunion. And it also, again, gives me the opportunity to lean down a little bit and to see kind of what my body can do over the course of eight weeks. I've actually gotten a lot of questions on how many calories am I eating? How much protein am I eating? I haven't really shared that specific information because that's specific to me. Your macros and calories will be completely different on a cut than mine. I do share the calories and the amount of protein I'm eating in my what I eat in a day videos on Wednesday and I do flex my calories and my protein. I don't eat the same amount every single day, but if you are interested in what your caloric deficit would be, I do again offer those personalized macros and calories. So I had a really good first full week of my cut. I felt really good. I mean, I was hungry on and off, but I'm in such a slight deficit that I'm eating enough every day to keep full and satisfied, even with the amount of activity that I'm doing. And unlike my old coach, Brenda, we don't wanna talk about her. I am not doing any more exercise than I normally do in this cut. She wanted me to do all this extra cardio. That is absolutely not necessary. So I'm doing my typical workouts, moving my body, going to boot camp, lifting weights, doing my normal things in my cut. In fact, this last Sunday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, I ran a 5K with my friend Mel. She actually ran the 10K, I ran the 5K, and it was all for Cinco de Mayo. It was so much fun. After the race, they actually gave us breakfast burritos, these fun shortbread cookies that were had the colors of the Mexican flag. They had a Marachi band. They gave out awards. Again, I ran it with my friend, Mich my friend Mel, who is from boot camp. And then I had the great opportunity to get to know a lot of the people in her running group on Facebook. So I've since joined the Facebook running group. I met so many amazing people, just expanded my community in fitness and in running. And I absolutely enjoyed the 5K so much. I had a really good time for the 5K. I pushed myself. Boy, was I sweaty. I remember sitting down, I sat down at breakfast to eat my breakfast burrito and it was a little bit windy and I went to move my hair away from my face and my braids were just soaked with sweat. It was disgusting. I couldn't wait to get home to shower, but I had a successful 5K. Love the shirt, love the metal. It was actually just a really fun morning with her and I got to meet a lot of her friends and expand my fitness community as well. I also did all of my normal workouts, went to boot camp, went to the gym, followed my co-pilot workouts. I'm actually feeling 
really, really good about my first week of my cut. Definitely want to share my weigh-in with you, but before I do, let's talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic, and that is how to find your why. Now, I feel like Weight Watchers talks about this a lot. We know that we need to have a why or a reason for a health journey. That's what keeps us motivated, and that's what we always want to go back to when we're not doing well or when we're not motivated to keep going. But like I said, I feel like this topic is discussed a lot, but this is just a little bit different spin on how to find your why. If you don't have a why or if your why changes, and by the way, it's very normal for your why to change throughout your weight loss journey, here's some ways to figure out what's your why. Number one, answer off the top of your head. Why do you wanna get healthier? Maybe it's you're tired of being out of breath. Number two, dig deeper. What does that look like to you? How would your life be different? I could walk farther, climb stairs easily, and say yes to more outdoor activities. Number three, ask yourself again, why do you want to get healthier? Take your time and ask yourself why until you answer in a specific, personal, and positive way. I want to have more stamina so I can be active with my family and friends. Number four, make it yours. Once you have an answer, say it again, and again, then find a way to keep it in front and center whenever you need a mojo boost. Write it on a sticky note or add it to your notes app on your phone. FYI, we know you're making changes every day, so don't be afraid to check in and shift your why as your journey progresses. Setting goals, having a, the reason why you're doing things is so important on a weight loss and health journey. I will tell you that when I started my weight loss journey, when I lost 90 pounds in 2022, my why was to not go through menopause at 300 pounds. My why was to be comfortable in my clothing, comfortable out in public, comfortable having my picture taken, not being out of breath when I go up and down stairs. My goal for my overall weight loss journey was never to be skinny. My goal was to take off the excess fat so I could work out and build lean muscle. That was my goal from the get-go, and that has continued to be my why. My why has been able to be healthier, to move my body, to be comfortable in my own skin. Overall, my main why is to be comfortable in my body and no longer be ashamed of what I look like. So I actually really like this topic and I think it's important to revisit this regularly throughout our weight loss journey because your why is going to change. Maybe your why in the beginning was to be skinny and now your why is to do a 5k or run a 10k or a half marathon or lift weights. Maybe your why has changed 10 times throughout your weight loss journey and that's okay. My why has definitely changed. It continues to change and progress as I progress. No matter what you land on, just make sure your why is specific. Make it as, sp as specific as possible. Make sure your why is not a number on the scale because guess what? You don't have control over the scale. You have zero control over the scale. So make sure your why is not a number, but your why is maybe an avenue or a direct reason to get to your weight loss goal. Your journey's full of highs and lows. Your journey's going to change. Your why is going to change. But by having a why and keeping it front and center, it definitely helps us reach our goals. I will tell you that on my computer, I do most of my work and editing on an actual desktop computer. I have a vision board board of sorts that I made for my background. I'll insert a picture here for you, but this is my why. It's my why in a nutshell. You can see that there's clothing so I can curate my wardrobe. Coaching. Coaching is a very important part of my life. Helping you reach your goals is why I do what I do. Being more active, seeing the scale move, building strength and muscle. Those are my whys and they are on my computer. The thing I look at every single day. My vision board is right here. My why is constantly in front of me and that's what makes it it easy to stick with and that's what makes it something that I can con consistently go back to for motivation. Make sure that you're always changing your why. As you change and progress, your why is going to progress as well. So although this is a topic we talk about a lot, I like the spin on this because I think it's really important. And like I said, our why should be revisited regularly throughout our weight loss journey. Down below, what's your why? And let me know too, has your why changed and what has it changed from and where are you now? Let me know down below. I always like to hear what your reason is for reaching your weight loss goals. Speaking of weight loss goals and reasons and motivation and whys, let's jump into this week's weigh-in. Like I said, this is my first full week on my mini cut. I am in a very, very small deficit, so I don't anticipate seeing a lot of weight loss on the scale because I'm just not eating in a big enough deficit for that. But I am in a deficit and we know that the only way to lose weight is to be in a deficit. So last week I lost 0.4 pounds, which was a portion of the amount that I've gained over the last few weeks. Like I said, I haven't gained any fat. My body has not changed. My clothing has not changed. I don't feel or look any different, but the scale was up for the last couple of weeks. And then last week I was able to lose 0.4. And when I stepped on the scale today, I am down another point 
24. So I am down almost a full pound in a week and a half under a week and a half of my cut, which makes me really, really happy. I'm very anxious to see measurements and I'm very anxious to see pictures. I've been taking pictures every single week. So at the end of my eight weeks, I can share with you my progress, not only on the scale, but with my measurements and with side-by-side -side photos. So I'm excited to share that with you. I'm excited to see what those pictures look like at the end of eight weeks, what my measurements look like, and of course what the scale looks like. So I'm thrilled with a 0.4 loss. Any little bit of loss makes me really happy because point this and point that, guess what? It adds up to a pound and slow and steady weight loss wins the race. That's the weight loss that actually stays off because it's not just weight loss, it's fat loss and that's our ultimate goal. So overall, I'm feeling amazing. I'm really enjoying this cut much, much more than my cut with Brenda. This cut has been much better working hand in hand with Kayleen, my coach on Copilot, loving Copilot still. The best decision I ever made was to download and subscribe to the Copilot app. My workouts are so good and she changes my workouts regularly. I talk to Kayleen almost every single day. She gets back to me immediately. Love Copilot. I will link it down below for you. Download the app, try it free for 14 days. There's no obligation. If you hate it, cancel after 14 days. You don't have to move forward. But if you love it, like so many of you have, so many of you have reached out and said, oh my God, I love Copilot. I'm subscribed. I love it. I love it. I love it. If you love it, you can subscribe after the 14 days. It's less than about two sessions with a personal trainer. And you basically have a personal trainer with you every time you work out. So definitely check out Copilot. It's really been helpful on my cut and I'm feeling really good. I'm excited to see what this week brings. So again, let me know down below. What's your why? Let me know how your week was. Did you gain? Did you lose? Let me know everything down below. Also, if you've tried Copilot and love it, let me know. I'm curious to see what your experience has been and if it's been as amazing as my experience. And again, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on because I do a weigh-in every Friday. Down in the description box, like I said, I'll link Copilot for you with the free 14 days. Nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Have an amazing Friday and I will see you in tomorrow's grocery haul.